Hi, this is Deborah Peters. Welcome to the Deborah Peters Show. I'm finally doing it. I'm getting this thing off the ground and bringing it to you live. I'd love to have you join me. I'm going to be doing this on a consistent basis. I would like to say daily. I know that's a really big commitment, but um, I will definitely do my best to get this out to you on a daily basis. It's going to be short and sweet to start. I'm going to deliver as many tools to you as I can so that you can utilize them to shift your business and to grow your happiness, to expand your, your personal awareness and to create the experiences and the relationships and the health in your life that you would love to have. And with that, you'll be able to share it with all of the people that are in your life because our circle of influence around us is usually the people that are influencing us the most. So in this particular way, you're gonna to get to become the influencer. And these are gonna be short and sweet. I think we'll probably run about maybe 10 minutes this morning. Um, so grab a cup of coffee and uh, jump on board with me. All right, so where are we gonna start? Well, I'll tell you a little bit about me and how I even came to want to do this. It's, uh, it's really I've been a dream of mine since I was a little girl. I grew up on a farm in Canada, and um, our farm was quite literally at the end of the road. So there wasn't a whole lot going on there, and I had to create my own entertainment, and I did that through my imagination. And what's interesting, I think, for me is that as we grow up and we become adults and we go out into the world, sometimes one of the things that we lose is our imagination. And you know what they say, if you're not using it, you lose it. And it really just comes down to the programming that we're experiencing from our environment. And that environment can be our friends, our families, our parents, obviously, uh, schools, churches, clubs, sports, wherever you're engaged, and the, the, the repetition of what you're seeing, experiencing, and learning from others and through others actually starts to get down inside your psyche and it becomes the imprint to how you view the world, which leads me to today's topic. And today's topic is about your points of view. So our points of view can serve us in a variety of ways. And our points of view can also hold us hostage. And so what points of view do you have that are keeping you stuck? What points of view do you have that are keeping you from living the life that you want, from having the business that you want, from creating all of the experiences in your life that you've always wanted to create, but you really just haven't gone for it because your points of view tell you that you can't have that, you can't be that, that's, you know, you're not good enough, like whatever the story is. So I believe that when we start a business, for all you entrepreneurs out there, when we start a business, we come from this place of excitement and it's many times comes from our imagination. It's, we have this, um, we have this gift, we have, we have this idea, we have this talent and, you know, we want to take it out into the world and we want to turn it into something. Good morning, Bertold. Thank you so much for joining us. I, I'm assuming by your name that you might quite possibly be in, in Europe. So if you're across the pond, um, it's evening for you and I really appreciate you being here. So yes, it's, you know, uh, we, we have these great ideas and we're passionate and we want to go for it. We want to create something really magnificent. So we start to develop a business. Well, what maybe no one has told you is that your business is going to become your greatest personal development workshop. It's going to be what pushes your buttons. It's going to be what inspires you. It's going to be what makes you think that you can do anything. And it's also going to be what makes you have to really dig deep and to move past the fear and the doubt. You know, there's statistics that say 
that half of all businesses fail or like seven seventy three percent I think it is of all businesses fail in the first two years. And why is that? Is that because they have lack of capital? Is it why why do most businesses fail? Well, I have a completely different theory on this. I don't think that businesses fail because of lack of capital. I think, and this is my observation, I've been a business coach now for 20 years in 16 countries, and I'm about to explore some more countries this next year and the, and the latter part of this year, speaking on stages, coaching businesses, and, and serving on panels and helping companies grow. And my observation is, is it's not necessarily always about the capital. It's really about the mindset of the leaders because money and capital are really energy. So, you know, so far with imagination and with, with the proper use of energy, we can actually create everything and anything that we aspire to create. But in order to do that, we really have to get out of the fear and doubt place. Now, how do you get out of fear and doubt when you've got a business and maybe it's not going so well, or maybe you haven't been able to close any deals and, and you're experiencing some challenges around that. So the number one way to get out of fear and doubt is to shift how you center and ground yourself in the morning. So when you get up in the morning, create a routine for yourself because that routine will actually enable you to, to be in charge and be in control of how your day plays out. Now, some people ask me, well, is it okay if I do this in the evening instead? And I would say to you, do it in the evening and in the morning. And the harder things are for you right now, the more challenging your business might be right now, the more often you want to actually ground and center yourself. Because when you ground and center yourself, you actually bring yourself back into alignment with that inner voice that's inside of you that has all the answers. You know, the answers will just come and the information will flow through when you get out of your way to receive, right? So I, I don't think it's necessarily a lack of capital that causes businesses to fail. I believe through all of my experience that it's really a mindset. It's really where the leadership spends the most time focusing within themselves. So the tool to get grounded and get centered, you can actually find it on uh, my YouTube channel. And so if you go to YouTube, and I should have had the link for you, I promise I'll have it for you tomorrow. But if you go to YouTube and you look for Neuroengineering Institute, I'm just typing it in for you here, and then um, NEI. So if you, if you go into YouTube and you subscribe to my channel, there is tons of information in there that you can start using immediately. And for example, Getting grounded and getting centered is a meditation process. So I have a free video in there for meditating. And within that meditation video, I have given you probably 10 tools or maybe more, maybe more like seven meditation tools that you can use. And you don't have to use them all at once. You can, you can get comfortable with that meditation and then find one or two tools that are in that process and make them your own. The whole idea here is not to, you know, be making me the guru, but to actually explore what is it that you connect to. It'll quiet your mind, number one. Number two, it'll ground and connect you to your higher self, to your inner being, to your God force, to the universe, whatever you want to call it. And then number three, it will bring you to a place of peace and you can then get into a creative mindset once you're in that place of peace. Because if you're putting out fires and dodging bullets with your business, then peace is not going to be with you. You know, you're going to be in, in this helter skelter kind of mindset. And in order to come up with answers, in order to come up with solutions, in order to take your business to the next level, it really is about being at peace. So grab that meditation. And every day, even if you have to get up earlier to make that work, get up in the morning and do the meditation and create a, um, 
a discipline around that, create a routine around that. Now, tagging on to the meditation, um, so what I also want you to do is I want you to go to the, the, um, the energy pull. So after you do the meditation, yes, you need to do the meditation first. After you do the meditation, then do the energy pull. And what the happens with that is, number one, you get into alignment with you. So most people get up in the morning, they look at their phone, they look at their email, maybe they read the paper, maybe they watch a newscast or something, they go online and they look at all this negative stuff that's happening in the world and, and, and they read things and they get into an emotional state that says there's struggle, there's lack, there's hard times, there's challenge. And that's the thing that they then align to because then they start to believe that that's reality. Well, maybe it is reality, but it's old news by the time it gets reported. So it really doesn't have any basis in your life, you see. You don't want to engage in, in that kind of thinking because that will set the tone for how your entire day goes. What you want to do instead, which is really aligning with the external world, what you want to do instead is you want to get up in the morning and you want to meditate and then you want to do an energy pull because what that will do is that will align you with you. That will align you with your God force, your inner being, your higher self, your point of power, right? Because you are powerful. You are powerful. You're super powerful. You're like a magician and you're magic. So what you're a miracle. So what miracle are you creating for yourself today? So let me just share this with you. It's about getting into that space where you're grounded and centered in you, okay? You're grounded and centered in you. So go to my YouTube channel, subscribe, get the meditation. You can download it onto your phone and then also download the energy pull. And the you can, you know, the energy, the actual energy pull starts at the nine minute mark. I'm just gonna tell you straight out of the shoot. You wanna listen to the whole YouTube video to start and then after that, when you're using it every day, you can just fast forward and you can start at the nine minute mark and make a commitment to do this for the next 90 days. And it'll turn your entire life around. It'll turn your entire world around. All right. So that's my tool for the day. And tomorrow we're going to get into some of the different things that you can be doing in your business that you can start to shift how your business flows and how abundance and money and clients flow into your business. So thank you so much for joining me. This is the inaugural Out of the Shoot, Deborah Peters Show on Facebook Live. So grateful to have you. Have a blessed day, think positive thoughts, get into alignment, and then expect to win. Because you gotta expect it to come. That's the whole, that's the whole receiving part. And I'm gonna do a whole show on receiving once we get this thing up and running. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a blessed Monday, everybody. Take care. Ciao.